Hi, I'm Lisa Renee, your Ascension Guide, and I am here with our ES panel, Joni, Robin, and Yvonne. And today we wanted to talk about interference. Interference is a very complex topic, and we're trying to keep these into bite-sized chunks, but we'd like to address interference because it is such a common occurrence for those of us on the spiritual path and certainly in my experience over the many years, it's very common in the starseed and indigo family. When we are attempting to recognize interference in our life, we will normally find that the interference brings about chaos, confusion, self-doubt, and an inability to see or understand what is happening in the moment. Now it's no secret at this point that many of us that are seasoned on the ascension path we are well aware that there is a war over consciousness. This is a part of the spiritual maturity of participating with spiritual ascension and your own relationship to spirit at this time. As we advance on the spiritual path as we come into roles and missions of which we are here to participate with healing the planet Earth or healing portions of locations that many of us may be assigned in terms of what's known as grid work. When we go to certain places or spaces to hold spiritual energy which is connected to the body of God, to the body of Christ, we hold the higher spiritual energy, we may encounter interference at this level. We may encounter interference in our own biological families, friends, acquaintances. We also may experience interference with a phenomena that we call sleepers, which are unawake or asleep human beings around us that are being manipulated or puppeted to interfere with your project, your role, with whatever you're attempting to accomplish in the moment. Now many times these are opportunities to master the self, to master your own internal energies, and to come into a really solid spiritual core. When we are challenged, this helps us to up our game, to become more advanced in the way that we interact with the external world. However, in being able to identify interference in your life and accept it as it is without a lot of drama, but just accepting it is what it is, and this is what many of us on the spiritual path or spiritual ascension will encounter through our day-to-day -day life. Again, to identify interference is to identify any person, place, or thing which is directing energy on purpose to interfere with your projects, your grid work, something in your day-to-day -day life. It could be as simple as just showing up in the supermarket or when you are actually on a particular spiritual mission, which happens to our group many times when we are called to certain locations in order to accomplish certain projects. Interference will always be directed through a polarizing resistant force which may come in terms of demonic type of entities, meaning a negative type of spirit or an oppression that is not wanting to participate with that particular level of the spiritual project, which means transit or evolution or support to that particular area. Or it can again happen within our own families. Again, the key note of interference is to recognize when our goal is to achieve stability, emotional clarity, and peace in every situation in our life, what takes you out of peace? What takes you into emotional chaos? Which, what is it that throws you off center? Interference will show you that very clearly. So using interference as a tool in a positive way will help you to see your weaknesses or vulnerabilities so that you can seal those areas of your aura or come into more conscious contacts. So you can participate with that area of yourself. But remember that interference will always have a keynote of chaos, confusion, 
disruption and self-doubt, sometimes fear is also a part of that. It is something to generate fear or uncertainty. When you're feeling these things from a trigger event, from a person, place, or thing, which you're feeling an interference, identify the feelings that you have within. Come into neutrality and know that your goal in that moment is to resume peace back into your being and to not over-identify with interference of the person, place, or thing, but to recognize it and call it out as it is, as it's happening, so that emotional triggers and mental triggers are not furthered within a cycle of looping or obsession or compulsion, which is so common when we have interference. So I'd like to talk to you all about interference and your experiences with that also. Just uh, so many examples, you know. Um, I think I could just maybe open up with saying, know who pushes your buttons. What are the the button pushers and... and What are the buttons? And what are the buttons? Yeah. But I think there's a lot to say with the person that who's doing that because that's a, that's a, a something that you can track and, and go a little bit deeper with that because usually it's repetitive and when you identify it then you can kind of have an idea of what interference is because it's always repetitive and then when you once you identify it then you can overcome it and that will help you to know what interference is from a very fundamental start of that yeah, absolutely. I, I really so appreciate this conversation because it's um, it's so applicable on so many levels and um, at so many different stages of, you know, of your development. And so, you know, an example would be like whether um, someone, you know, like me who has participated in, you know, along my path now many um, grid work type projects. And um, when you are really needed and most useful when you are clear um, what comes at you and, and, and what projections come into your head. The main objective always is to throw you off your game because when you're off your game and you're spiraling, you aren't here, exactly. you aren't in the moment, exactly. and you're not being utilized. Right. So when you really realize you know, the sole purpose always is to just always be in the moment and present, and anything shiny that comes at you that's trying to get your attention to derail you is interference. Mm. So for everyone, it'll be different because I think we all have different weaknesses. They know, as we know, you know, on this path, you already are aware that there are other forces at work. They know you. They know you well. They know where your weak spots are, and they'll come right in, and they're going to hit you there. So you got to know where those weak spots are. You have to know where those weak spots are. So you're on a mission, and you're caught up with, what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not having the same experience everybody else is. I'm broken. You know, boom, I'm not being used because I'm spiraling out in, you know, in my own self-doubt, in my own. uh, And so you feel that, you know, and so exactly. So as soon as you hear that and feel that, you know, know that there's something trying to derail you. Uh, My partner and I own a business, and he's very sensitive emotionally. So anything financial, um, anything like that, if he's kind of already down, if he's already a little bit tired, um, they'll come at him, and they'll just, that's where they'll hit him. With anxiety or finance. Absolutely. And then it'll start spinning And it just, then he's gone, you know, then he's gone. and he's So now he's not, you know, so now it just makes the problem, you know, a thousandfold because you can't... um, tackle it from your core and this is why this ties into why this topic is with everything that we're doing with the 12d shield with the core soul tribe with coming into our core building core strength Mm -hmm. this is so that when certain things start to get amplified or when we're doing something and there's some trigger and we start to like you say looped into whatever whatever the weakness is financial Uh worries self-doubt feelings of unworthiness that we catch ourselves, whoa, so I'm really triggered there. What is it? You know, and then using the same tools, yeah. we can claim it and stabilize, yeah. and that interference just dissipates. goes away. It yes. loses its power. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's why it's so, like you're saying, it's so critical to know what gets. And, they, and the sad thing is, too, is really understanding they will use anyone. They'll use anyone. Your and child, it, 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 your child, your mm-hmm. husband, your wife, your sisters, your brothers, um, if they're vulnerable 
to, to interference themselves, then they'll be used as a puppet. And it's not judgment toward anybody, but it's absolute awareness is critical. You have to know that they're going to. Yeah. And you'll, you'll, you'll know. You'll know when you're kind of tired one day and out of nowhere, right. one relative comes in the house spinning like the Tasmanian devil. Yeah. You know, and you're like, that's the last thing you can yeah. handle and you can see exactly what it's trying to do. And, and do if you are you. tired or feeling down, know that. Totally. And then do what Absolutely. it takes. Stay away, you know, yeah. retreat a little bit, you yeah. know, yeah. amplify more Grab than Grab those usual. tools, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And because it helps highlight what those buttons are, this is how interference can be used as a tool. Yes. Oh, wow, what's coming up for me? What's being used? Yeah. Ooh, I have some work to do there, some attention totally. to and pay to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that goes into another talk that we've had before is understanding, you know, your triggers that they will be used, they'll be played like a piano, <laughs> and every, and it is, sometimes it is great when it happens, because it really does give you the opportunity to kind of, you know, feel that thing going ding, 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 you know, and, and go, okay, wait a minute, why is that going off, what is it, why does it seem to be the same one over and over mm-hmm. again, and so you can take that and actually turn it into a positive, but you have to be aware of it. Yes. Well, thank you so much. I I completely and utterly agree. And really the purpose of this is to demystify the phenomena of interference. And again, not to overly depend on labeling something as interference, but to be aware that this exists. It's very common and it's specifically common to those of us, especially starseeds and indigos, that are a part of the first wave of the ascension cycle on planet Earth. There is clearly resistance, and this is nothing to fear, it's to understand that as we undergo change, there is a fear of change. There is a fear of the unknown, and those fears can be capitalized in both human and non-human sources. A part of bringing the law of one and this level of information back to the planet is to empower us and so that we have the tools to face with our own spiritual maturity and adulthood these particular issues with neutrality and to accept it is what it is and to not fear the unknown or to have fear of change because this time on planet earth is really requiring that we are adaptable, flexible, willing to be open, and of course hold neutrality for the dismantling forces on planet Earth at this time. Utilizing your 12th dimensional shield as a way to bring yourself into center, using breath to bring yourself back into center, the point of this is to not allow yourself to be taken by surprise by interference Mm -hmm. and to allow it to spin you out of your intended uh, direction of focus at the time or to dissipate any of the strength or passion that you may have in your personal projects in your life because interference sometimes can make you feel deflated or depressed that why am I undergoing these obstacles or this kind of interference Utilize it as a way to strengthen yourself in the face of acknowledging any emotional weaknesses you may have. And know that this is very common, that all of us on the Ascension Path undergo this type of interference. So we hope that this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And again, until next, much love to you.